Hey everybody, welcome to Amazing Indiana. My name's Fred, welcome to the channel today. I'm in noisy downtown Fort Wayne, Indiana, and today we're gonna be exploring a uh, part of Fort Wayne, and we'll probably see some more of Fort Wayne in some other Amazing Indianas. A uh, little word of disclosure here, I live in Fort Wayne, so I love what goes on in our city, and I wanna share it with you today and remember, it's all part of amazing Indiana. Well, one of the really great things about Fort Wayne, Indiana is that we are a city that has a lot of uh, culture and we have a lot of uh, festivals that take place during the summer months. And this is the last weekend in August, so I guess some people might think that this is the uh, last full week of, uh, the last weekend of summer and um, we're marking that here with this art, wonderful arts festival and it is all over downtown Fort Wayne and I'm going to be sharing some of it with you uh, so that you can see what we've got here and first up one of the things I'd like you to hear is a uh, rendition of Sweet Georgia Brown on a uh, pipe organ and this is sponsored by the uh, uh, sponsored by the Embassy Theater here in Fort Wayne. Really kind and neat. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, very good. Kind of reminds you of the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> And as we walk around downtown Fort Wayne as part of the Taste of the Arts Festival, you might now hear in the background some uh, bagpipe music. And let's go check that out. So we've got these really great bagpipers here today uh, in downtown Fort Wayne. This is uh, these people are here uh, playing their pipes as part of the Fort Wayne Taste of the Arts Festival. Hey, you don't have to go all the way to Scotland to hear really great bagpipe music here in the fort. So this is Friedman Square, where the uh, Taste of the Arts Festival is taking place this weekend. Lots of neat stuff to see. Um, there's going to be live music here on this venue. Uh, and there's just neat, neat stuff downtown. So, here at the Taste of the Arts Festival, there's a lot of local vendors, um, lots of local artisans who have produced all kinds of interesting stuff. So, really neat. Um, as I said before, Fort Wayne has all of these marvelous festivals. COVID killed all of that last year, but um, this year things have um, kind of resurrected themselves so we're having our festivals again and that's just really wonderful and it brings a lot of people down to our downtown area and it's gorgeous down here right now and lots of neat stuff happening here at the Taste of the Arts Festival. On this weekend in Fort Wayne not only did we have the Taste of the Arts Festival but also the Farmers Market and we'll check that out next. So our farmer's market has some of the traditional stuff, like, of course, vegetables, locally produced food. We've got plants, 
Um, and as we move around here, you're going to see so just the plethora of stuff that we've got. All kinds of really cool things. And um, you might notice that this farmer's market is completely dog friendly. You'll see a lot of dogs wandering around here during the uh, during the summer. I don't know if the dogs like it. Some of their owners might seem to think that they uh, that they do enjoy it. If you come down here to the farmers market on a Saturday. One of the advantages uh, is not only being able to pick up a lot of cool stuff, but the History Center, the building again right in front of us, uh, is free from 9 a.m. on uh, Saturdays to 1 p.m. while the farmer's market is taking place. So, um, you know, the History Museum is a really great place. Unfortunately, I would suspect that most of the people that you see in this video have never been inside the History Museum, and yet, guess what? You can go in there for free, and I gotta say something about the History Museum while I got the chance. Uh, it is one of the finest history museums in the state of Indiana, and I always say it's Smithsonian quality, so make sure you check it out. And you can tell that it's getting ready to be fall because, look, mums are available. So this is uh, part of the farmer's market that a lot of people like to check out. This is where you can uh, pick yourself up a cocktail, get this uh, early on a Saturday morning, and you can walk all around uh, this area with that, uh, with that cocktail. There's local uh, uh, breweries, there are also local distilleries which uh, are out here selling their uh, selling their beer and their uh, other alcoholic products. So. No, it's not everybody's thing, but still kind of kind of cool, and you can uh, certainly find a good uh, whiskey, a good bourbon, uh, and some good beer down here. When you're downtown, also for the farmers market, there are all kinds of food trucks available, and you can pick up uh, anything from a whip and chill to uh, a pulled pork sandwich. All kinds of good stuff down here. And I just think it's, the, this farmer's market is just absolutely lovely. There's the Tower Bank building um, on the left-hand side of the picture. And I'm standing right near the uh, Fort Wayne History Center. So great place to come down and, uh, and just have a nice, Saturday, uh, a nice Saturday morning. And these people will continue to be down here uh, into the fall before they move to various locations which are gonna be inside. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Amazing Indiana. This was a great opportunity to share with you the Farmer's Market, which takes place in downtown Fort Wayne uh, just about every Saturday during the spring, the summer, and the fall. And also a great opportunity to share with you one of our many summer festivals here in Fort Wayne. Glad that you joined us on the channel today. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and also to like this video. And we'll see you next time on another edition of Amazing Indiana.